I remember when my friend and I decided to rent a cabin in the woods for a weekend trip. The cabin was near a calm lake, and the idea of spending time in nature was very appealing. We reached the cabin and loved its old-fashioned charm. The first day was great. We went fishing in the lake, enjoying the peacefulness and excitement of catching our own dinner. We went back to the cabin at around 5 p.m., excited to cook and enjoy the fresh fish we had caught. After a tasty meal and getting cozy by the crackling fire, we had a relaxed conversation. As the night got darker, we decided it was time to go to bed and get a good night's sleep. Just before going to bed at around 9 p.m., I looked outside one last time through the bedroom window. I was shocked to see a man sitting near the lake. I was really confused because we were far away from cities or towns. I quickly told my friend about it, thinking it was strange to have someone out there in the middle of nowhere. He didn't think it was a big deal and said the man might be a hiker. I felt a bit scared, but decided to sleep. In the middle of the night, I suddenly woke up because I heard footsteps outside. My heart raced as I looked through the window cautiously. To my horror, the man was standing right in front of our cabin. I was really scared and quietly woke up my friend, telling him to look outside. But when he looked through the window, the man had disappeared. There were no sounds of footsteps going away, he just vanished. My friend tried to calm me down and said I must have imagined it. But deep down, I knew it was real. I felt uneasy, but tried to forget about it and enjoy the rest of our time at the cabin. Luckily, the rest of our stay was without any scary incidents. We spent the days exploring the woods around us and the nights laughing and enjoying each other's company. Strangely, I never saw that man again during our time there. It was as if he had disappeared completely. Looking back, I can't help but wonder who that man was and what he wanted. The memory of that strange encounter will always stay with me. I wanted to go on a hike to my aunt's cabin, in a faraway forest. The cabin hadn't been used for a while, so I asked my aunt if I could stay there overnight. She said, yes, you can stay as long as you want. I brought my dog with me on the journey. As we walked through the dense forest, my dog started acting strangely. He began barking and growling at nothing, trying to protect me. It gave me an odd feeling, but I kept going towards the cabin. After about an hour of hiking, we finally reached the cabin. I felt relieved but also a bit scared. I made sure to lock all the doors and windows to stay safe inside. But as I was locking the front door, I saw something horrifying, a mountain lion hiding in the distance. I got really scared and locked the door as fast as I could, feeling lucky to be inside the cabin. I ate a simple dinner and went to sleep. When I woke up in the morning, I still felt uneasy. So I called my dad and asked him to pick me up instead of hiking back. The thought of going back through the forest was too scary. Luckily, my dad agreed and came to get us. When I got outside the cabin, I saw footprints near the cabin. They were mountain lion's footprints. So me and my dog quickly got into my dad's car and he drove away. As we drove away from the cabin, I thought about what had happened. It hit me like a truck that the mountain lion hadn't attacked me during the hike to the cabin just because my dog was with me. And something really, really bad could have happened if my dog wasn't with me. I rented a cabin in the woods to have a quiet and peaceful break. It was a cold evening when I arrived and after a delicious meal, I went to bed and expected to have a good night's sleep. But in the middle of the night, I suddenly woke up to a terrifying scream that cut through the silence. My heart raced, and I felt really scared. I listened carefully, trying to figure out where the sound was coming from. As I tried to understand what was happening, I heard two loud bangs on my door, making me freeze with fear. The suspense was unbearable, and I held my breath, hoping that nothing bad would happen. Then, I heard the distinct sound of heavy footsteps purposefully going around my cabin. Suddenly, the footsteps stopped, and everything became eerily silent. I strained my ears, desperate to hear anything. A few moments later, I heard hurried footsteps fading away into the distance. I knew whatever or whoever it was, was gone, 
but I couldn't sleep. Every little noise made me jump. But eventually, exhaustion took over, and I fell into a restless sleep. When the morning sun peeked through the curtains, I woke up suddenly. The memories of that night were still haunting me, but the daylight brought some relief. I quickly packed my things, eager to leave the cabin. As I drove away, I still felt uneasy, reminded of the strange events of that terrifying night. I still don't know who or what it was. I rented a pretty cabin in the woods. It was on a peaceful spot, surrounded by nature, with a very nice lake nearby. I got there in the morning, and I was really excited to enjoy the calmness all around me. The cabin looked really cozy and I couldn't wait to settle in. Once I unpacked my stuff, I decided to go fishing by the lake. The morning sun made the water look pretty, and it felt peaceful. I threw my fishing line. After a while, I caught two fish, and since I was hungry, I decided to cook them. By the time I finished cooking, it was already 3 p.m. I enjoyed the tasty meal, the fresh fish was really delicious. But as the afternoon went on, I started feeling weird. It was around 5 p.m. that I decided to go for a walk in the woods. I walked deeper into the forest, enjoying the sights and sounds of nature. Suddenly, I saw something strange. I was about 10 minutes away from the cabin, and I saw a dog standing in front of me. It had a creepy smile on its face that sent chills down my spine. It felt like it was looking right into my soul. I knew something was not right. I got really scared and quickly turned around, running back to the cabin as fast as I could. I was panicking, and I wanted to leave right away. I packed my things really quickly, my heart was pounding in my chest. Without wasting any time, I got into my car and drove away. Even though I can't be sure, I sometimes think it might have been a skinwalker. But that encounter with the dog really scared me. I felt more afraid and uneasy during that walk than I ever had before. While driving away from the cabin, I kept looking in my mirror, half expecting to see that creepy dog chasing after me. Thankfully, I got away without any harm, but I still remember that encounter and it still scares me. Now, whenever I think about renting a cabin in the woods, I can't help but remember that creepy smile on the dog's face. One day, me and my friend went on a hiking adventure to his cabin in the woods. We were really excited and couldn't wait to enjoy nature. The trail to the cabin was surrounded by thick woods, which made it feel magical. There were birds singing and leaves rustling, making our journey even more enjoyable. We talked and laughed, not knowing what was about to happen. But as we walked further along the trail, everything suddenly became quiet. It was like nature was holding its breath. This made us feel really uneasy and scared. Then, all of a sudden, a mountain lion came out of the woods. It looked majestic, but it also made us feel really scared. The mountain lion just seemed curious because if it wanted to harm us, it would have stayed hidden in the woods. But it was still a mountain lion, so it scared the shit out of us. We were frozen with fear, unable to move. The mountain lion looked like it was about to attack at any second. The moment was tense. But just as suddenly as it appeared, the cougar turned and ran back into the woods. We were shocked and relieved. We let out a sigh of relief, our hearts beating really fast. This encounter really shook us up. We realized how close we came to danger and how lucky we were to escape. We were still scared and didn't want to continue to the cabin. So, we decided to turn around and go back home. We walked in silence, still thinking about what happened. We rented a cabin on Airbnb, and it was the perfect place for me and my friends to relax. We arrived in the evening excitedly exploring every part of the cozy cabin. We cooked delicious food, talked about random things, and laughed a lot. When it was time to go to bed, we went upstairs to the bedroom. I chose to sleep next to the window. It was a glass window, covered by a curtain. I was so tired that I fell asleep quickly. But then, at around midnight, something woke me up. I heard tapping on the window. My heart started beating fast as I tried to understand what was happening. 
whatever was making the tapping sounds on the window, was just inches away from me, and the curtain was the only thing hiding me from whatever was outside. I wanted to pull the curtain and see what it was, but I was scared. The tapping went on for around 20 seconds. Then, suddenly, it stopped. I lay in bed, shaking, and then, I heard another strange noise. It was like something was crawling on the roof of the cabin. I was scared and tried to think of what could be causing it. And then all of a sudden, everything went silent. And at that moment, I realized I hadn't woken up my friends, who were still fast asleep, unaware of what had happened. Morning came, bringing a feeling of relief. I gathered the courage to tell my friends what happened, hoping they would believe me. Sadly, they thought I made it up and didn't believe me. We had to leave the cabin that day anyway. So, I didn't try to convince them that much, cause I knew they weren't gonna believe me. It was a cool autumn day, when my friend and I rented a cabin for a night of excitement. We arrived at the cabin around 4 p.m., filled with excitement and looking forward to the unforgettable experience that awaited us. The cabin was tucked away deep within a thick forest surrounded by tall trees. Eager to make the most of our time, we wasted no time in unpacking and starting on a nearby hiking trail. The warm sun painted the landscape with a golden glow as it started to set, making long shadows across the forest floor. As we went further into the woods, the peacefulness of nature surrounded us, calming us down and making us even more excited for the adventure. Hours went by as we enjoyed all the beauty nature had to offer. We were amazed by the gorgeous sights around us. It felt like time stood still in those peaceful moments. As it started to get dark, we headed back to the cabin, feeling satisfied with our hike for the day. As the sky got darker and the stars appeared, we lit a crackling fire and sat down to enjoy a delicious dinner in the cabin. The sound of the fire was soothing and made our evening even better. We sat close to the fire and enjoyed the warmth. The night air got colder and we started to feel tired. Feeling worn out from the day's adventures, we decided it was time to go to bed and get some rest. As I laid down on the soft bed, tiredness washed over me. It felt like I had just closed my eyes when the morning sun shone through the curtains, signaling the start of a new day. Reluctantly, we realized that our time at the cabin had come to an end, and we needed to pack our things and leave. But as we stepped outside, a feeling of unease crept up our spines. In the soft ground, there were clear human footprints circling our cabin. We were sure they were not there before. Fear took hold of us, and we looked at each other with worry. Without saying a word, we quickly gathered our things, shaking as we put them in the car, and we quickly drove away from the cabin. 